my name is Jo and I'm a member of the Women's Engineering Society Young Members Board. For the Year of Engineering, which is this year, we are doing the James Dyson Foundation STEM Challenge Cards. We're posting one video a week on YouTube of a different STEM challenge. They're all challenges that you should be able to do with household items, things that you've already got lying around in your kitchen. Um, the challenge that we're doing today is called Jelly and Oil. For this challenge, all you need is um, a pair of chopsticks, some cubes of jelly, and some oil, cooking oil, olive oil, anything like that should work. So what you need to do first is take your chopsticks and have a go at moving your jelly from the first bowl into the second. So as you can see, it's uh, relatively easy to move the jelly. You can grip it with the chopsticks quite easily. So if I pop those back over there, if I now pour some oil on my jelly, and then I have another go, I can't get hold of my jelly at all. As soon as I pick it up, it just falls straight out of the chopsticks. So why does this happen? When we pick something up with the chopsticks, what we need is a bit of friction between the chopsticks and the jelly which allows the chopsticks to grip onto the jelly or whatever we are using, whatever our two objects are. When we put the oil on, we remove all of that friction, which means that there's no forces that are gonna hold the jelly in the chopsticks. So we aren't able to pick it up like we did beforehand. Um, one use of that in everyday life is in cars. So we use oil for the moving parts on there to try and reduce the amount of friction that we get so that things don't um, rub on each other or anything like that. So that's the end of this STEM challenge. It's a nice quick one this week. Um, if you have a go, make sure you tag us in your photos. If you use the has hashtag WES challenge, W-E-S challenge, then we'll be able to see all of your videos and photos and we'd really like to so do have a go and do post about it online.